and welcome to Mennonite Farmhouse. I'm Leanne, and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. If that sort of thing is just you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Today, we're participating in the Shell Stable Pantry Recipe Collaboration, hosted by Prepper Potpourri. I'll leave a list of the collaborators down in the description box for you, along with a printable recipe card for today's recipe. And today, we are making Pennsylvania Dutch Slippery Pot Pie which is traditionally made with either beef, ham, or chicken. And since it's pie month on the Mennonite Farmhouse channel, I thought this was gonna be really appropriate for today's video. Pennsylvania Dutch pot pie is noodle based and not a pie crust base, which I grew up thinking this was pot pie and apparently the rest of the country thinks the other way is pot pie. So we'll let that go at that. So let's get started, shall we? To make the noodles, we're gonna need two cups of flour to two eggs with a quarter teaspoon of salt and a half a cup of water. Then for the soup, we're just gonna need five cups of beef broth, which we're gonna use home canned beef broth and home canned beef. And I'm gonna throw in some dehydrated potato slices and dehydrated onion and carrots, which all three were homegrown. And that's basically it, along with some more salt and pepper. A very traditional Pennsylvania Dutch dish. I ran out of the big guns today. This is my grandmother's soup pot. And y'all say, if you bring out grandma's soup pot, you're gonna be eating for days the same thing. So let's hope not. But anyways, we're gonna add in our beef stock. And since this beef has its own broth, I'm going to pour that in a while. I'm not going to cook the beef yet just because it just needs heated through. Then we're going to turn our stove on to medium high because we want to get this boiling hot for our noodles. And since my vegetables are all dehydrated, we're gonna add those in now to get them reconstituted. So here's our carrots, onions, and potatoes. Minus the oxygen as well there. So now we'll work on our dough. All right, on a nice clean surface, we're going to add our Two cups of all-purpose flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna take a measuring cup and make a well to crack my eggs into. Use a fork to incorporate. And I'm going to slowly add my water. bringing the flour in. Now some Pennsylvania Dutch recipes will have milk in it, some will not even have the salt in it, or even the water. Now you want to bring it together. Now my pasta is gonna look more yellow than yours maybe because I'm using farm fresh eggs. 
that's okay. It'll still taste homemade and that's the important thing. And just work it together until you form a dough. Get sticky on your fingers, just rub your fingers together until it comes off. Now, I could have used a mixer, but you just don't want to overwork your dough. And I don't think my mom ever used a mixer for this either. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more flour. So I'm just kneading it till it comes to a shape. Now, you want to roll out your noodles, and they can't be no thicker than one eighth of an inch. You don't want them too thin, and you don't want them too thick because then they'll be gummy and it'll be more like a dumpling. All right, so I rolled it out into a rectangular shape because you really want more of a square. So I'm going to use my pizza cutter here and cut it into strips. And each family cuts them a different size, I believe. At least what I'm used to. So I'm going to do about like two inch squares. So about that's the size that you want. I'm just going to use my bench scraper to pick up the noodles. And when you add the Popeye squares to the broth, you don't want to just plop it in. You want to do a few at a time. Then you want to cook this 15 to 20 more minutes. I'm going to think I should add my beef right now. Origins of this non-pie pot pie go back to the early Pennsylvania residents of southeastern Pennsylvania. The dish was created as a clever way to use leftovers. It could be made with turkey, beef, ham, chicken, and nearly any kind of vegetable. It's a thrifty way to stretch out food to feed a large family or a crowd with something filling and with substance. In Pennsylvania Dutch, the meal is called bot boy, a phrase that is morphed over time to pot pie. A Pennsylvania Dutch pot pie takes anything you love about chicken noodle soup and the traditional pot pie and mend them all together. Slippery, dense noodles swollen with the fragrance of broth and the flavorful meat falling apart with tender vegetables. In the South Central Pennsylvania, you will find local churches and fire companies making pot pie for fundraiser dinners. That is how popular this dish is in my area of the country. And popular seasonings in Pennsylvania Dutch culture is salt and pepper. So you want to use a lot of it in this dish to get the flavor to come out. And don't be afraid to add more broth because those noodles will soak it up. 
and make sure you cook it for 15 to 20 minutes. You're in a hurry to get done, aren't you? Yeah, let's go.